All right, also tonight, there are new efforts underway to keep Buffalo's famous fireboat Cotter afloat. The Cotter Conservancy is hoping to raise $6 million for the restoration project in the city of Good Neighbors. Happy to help out. I went to a South Buffalo bar a few hours ago where a support for this project is now on tap. It's delicious. Karen Okaniski is drinking beer for a good cause. Gene McCarthy is brewing in the old first ward, serving up another batch of Cotter Red Ale to help raise money for the restoration and maintenance of the historic Edward M. Cotter boat. What better setting than this? Look at this glorious day. It's just beautiful here in Buffalo. And to think you're drinking beer for a good cause makes it even taste that much better, right? <laughs> you're exactly right. I couldn't have said it better. Uh, Larry Cabato, the president of the Edward M. Cotter Conservancy, and we're here to recognize the 123rd anniversary of the oldest working fireboat in the world, the Edward M. Cotter Buffalo's Fireboat is birthed in Buffalo at 155 Ohio Street. So today we're proclaiming March 24th, uh, 2023, Edward M. Cotter Day on behalf of the Mayor of Buffalo, Mayor Brown. Tracy Tavacoli is happy to be among those tasting the beer and supporting efforts to raise $6 million to keep this beautiful piece of history in working order. One dollar from every beer sold will go toward the cause. And the fact that everything is functional for something that's 123 years old is just amazing. And to keep that going, I think, to support it and to continue funding it, it's, it's just a huge, valuable asset to the Buffalo area. The fireboat, also known for ice breaking, has sustained some damage over the years. The front hall was reinforced in 2019 in Toronto. If you're looking to raise $6 million. What will that money be used for? The money will be used for the preservation and maintenance of the Edward M. Cotter. We will be addressing some more issues on the hull. The capital campaign will continue into the 125th anniversary of the laying of the keel. And Karen plans to support the fundraising efforts every sip of the way. It's very flavorful. Would you like a sip? Uh, I'd love to, but I'm working. I have like oh, huh. three shows to anchor, oh. so rub it in. <laughs> Sorry, it's delicious. Oh, you are going to rub it in, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry. And, and what better setting than this? Look at this glorious day. She did want to rub it in, and she did. Again, a portion of the proceeds from the sale of Cotter Beer, that is, goes towards the $6 million funding goal. No, I didn't even have a sip. Then on June 25th, there's another fundraising event at Riverworks. They're calling it Cotter Fest with raffles, live auctions, live music, and so much more. Tickets for that event will be available April 1st.